In this video, I'm going to show you how to use vintage Canon lenses on your Micro Four Thirds camera. The two lenses that I got my hands on were both made for the Canon FD mounts from the 70s and 80s. I have the 50mm f1.8 and the 28mm f3.5. I found an FTB with the 50 for only $45 on Etsy. This was a great deal as most of the vintage lenses I found while shopping around were around 40 without a body to go with them. So let's put this 50 on my Panasonic G7. Get your hands on an adapter that converts the FD mount to micro four thirds. I purchased this Fatassi for $14 from Amazon. The adapter will simulate the locking ring from the old Canon SLRs. You will find a lock open ring on your adapter. This will be used to lock in the lens. The build quality feels a little cheap, but there are more options that have a higher price. Take your FD lens and attach it to the adapter. Be patient and make sure that you lock them in together. Sometimes my 50 does not want to go in right away. This is how the converted lens looks. Once you're done, you may now attach it to your Micro Four Thirds mount. There are side effects from this conversion that you must know of. The focal lengths will double. This means that my 28 becomes a 56 and the 50 becomes a 100. Another thing that you must take into consideration is that you will have no other option than to manually focus on your subjects, as well as set manual aperture by using the lens ring. This should not be an issue if you have experience shooting in manual mode. If you're not used to shooting in manual, I can assure you that you can learn by using this lens. The two lenses and the adapter cost me $115 in total. This beats the price of any new Micro Four Thirds lens. Vintage lenses are great to play with. They are also affordable. If you can find some old lenses for a good price, I would recommend giving them a try. I was definitely satisfied with the performance. Take a look at some of the photos that I've taken with this setup. Why don't you shop around and see if you can get a really cheap lens for your kit today? I posted some links in the description, so check those out. As always, thanks for watching. I will have more camera tutorials and lens reviews coming out soon. Please give this video a thumbs up if it helped you.